Hello, my dear friends. The day after plus, uh, plus 35, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, yesterday I did not make any videos. So, and the day before it was 33. Yuzhny uh, Boulevard, South Boulevard. The street in Belgrade. Um, there was not much happening with regards to COVID-19 in Serbia except for the further relaxation of the measures despite the some increase of the number of cases uh, yesterday there was only I mean there was one victim so the total is 251 and the total number of cases yesterday also exceeded uh, 12,000 so it's 12,031 if I'm yeah 12,031 um, okay, the percentage of the new cases compared to compared to the total number of testings is still quite low, so I don't think that there is a reason for it. Although there is also a slight increase on, in the number of people on respirators. In, in the best days it was just uh, below 10, it was something like 8-9. Now it's 15, but in the worst period of the epidemic, pandemic, it was over 120, if I'm not mistaken. So this parameter also says that it's, the situation is definitely under control. Now, of course, there is no need to rush uh, and do exactly what we were doing before the epidemic. So some, let's say, measures of social distancing are still desired. Although there is another theory that now it's the proper time to get sick in order to get the immunity because now the virus is relatively weak given the outside conditions, I mean the summer, etc. So that you go over it in this period and then you are more or less saved for uh, the autumn when the second wave is to be expected and in the autumn it's more difficult um, so yeah okay this maybe i'm also kind of in favor of this theory but uh, yeah I, I mean difficult to say definitely okay we are approaching Mostarska Petlja Mostarska Petlja was one of the landmarks of the ex-Yugoslavia because of its uh, complexity uh, back when it was uh, designed it was designed for 10 times higher uh, frequency of uh, traffic than uh, it was needed for that period of time and the also the alternative solution was 10 times cheaper but at the end it was decided for this one and I'm happy about it uh, because um, okay back then only the real um, how to say the people that had the ability of forward looking they realized that the, the, the intensity of traffic and, and the number of cars will be increasing uh, at a rapid pace uh, in the years to come I mean back then so yeah despite the I mean it was not uh, quite often the case that somebody would opt especially in the ex-socialist time somebody would opt for the 10 times higher i mean more expensive solution okay nowadays they opt for such solution but for other reasons mm, yeah back then uh, the corruption was not or maybe that was my impression was not so much um, uh, 
a lot of people here at the police station. This police station is specialized, specialized for foreigners. So I don't, don't know whether all these people were foreigners, but there was a lot of people. We are slightly but surely approaching the uh, Belgrade waterfront. It's on our left. Uh, oh, now I see also the, quite some number of parked cars here. Wow. Parking is pretty much... Ah, I also see that the BW Galleria is progressing quite nice. The outer look is almost... Okay, we can even go there to check because I've been there some day, some weeks ago actually. A few weeks ago. And obviously they made quite some progress in the meanwhile. This will be one of the largest shopping malls in Belgrade once completed. Uh, as I said, there are four buildings that are already completed and several are currently under construction, including the uh, shopping mall, BW Galleria. So you see now the, the two completed buildings, the one in under construction, the tower. This will be in front of us, will be quite a high tower uh, with an interesting shape, uh, quite oval. But we'll be seeing that. So what, how can I make a turn left turn here? I guess this is the way, I'm not really sure. And across the river we see the two CK buildings as well. Aha, you can see the, the look of the future tower at the big uh, panel uh, in front of us. Now it's... You cannot really see it very well because of the tree. I mean the line of trees, but... Uh, soon we'll be able to, to see it. Yeah, definitely it will look spectacular once once completed. Eagle Hills is the number. I mean the the company. I mean I, still it's quite um, uncertain who will be buying all these apartments here at at such a high price. What is this guy doing now? So yeah, okay, we don't need to go there, but we'll see from here at the future BW Galleria. This is the look. Uh, this is the look. Ah, okay, it's, anyhow, it's forbidden except for the vehicles on the construction site. This is the parking that I was talking about. And this uh, red building is the building of the police office and the building, the tall building behind is the newly built uh, building at the place of the ex-police uh, um, uh, minister, uh, federal police, actually, from the time of, uh, okay, one was federal, one was republic, so I'm not really sure which one is this one, uh, but I'll now try to go there, okay. Okay, so dear, we are now at the Belgrade waterfront. You see, it's quite in the park on the right is quite nice. The green, green grass of home as well. <laughs> ah, the story about Eagle Hills. Apparently, this company, I mean, it's an Arab company that was building predominantly in. Um, yeah, I'll go straight ahead now. We have some things to finish and then we can come back and maybe do a bit more detailed look at the back Belgrade waterfront. They are building uh, in Arab countries. Mostly, actually they are building for the Arabs, I mean the sheikhs. 
So what is their logic? I mean, the business model. They build a luxury apartments at relatively attractive locations. And then they call have a database of something like 1,000 sheikhs, Arab sheikhs, and they told them, tell them, at the example of Belgrade, for instance, look, we have uh, nice apartments at the river waterfront in Europe. Are you interested? And the guy says, uh, why not? I mean, as a portfolio, <laughs> to add this property in their portfolio of properties, high, it's a highly like, likelihood that they'll never come here. But um, never mind. Having a, an apartment at the waterfront somewhere in Europe it sounds quite nice to them. So what I suspected, this will be the ghost. Um, most of the apartments will be kind of a ghostish. But maybe okay. I may be wrong. I saw something similar in in Hamburg, Germany. There is a whole. Well, the size of the location is comparable to this one at, at the place of the old harbor. So it's also the waterfront, essentially. Really nice apartments, um, expensive ones, but practically empty. Wasted capital, according to my opinion, but probably these guys know better that have invested there. Uh, we are now looking at the, to our left, the building with the red roof is the Faculty of Economy at the University of Belgrade. In front of us, the park, the small park is the so-called Pitzing Park or the Steiga, the Steiga. Um, so yeah, it's a place with the so-called friends of the night, ladies of the night, but at the lower end of the offer, essentially, actually the lowest end of the offer because of the proximity of the bus station and the railway station. Okay, railway station not anymore, but bus station is still here, just 50 meters from the place. Okay, that much for now, we'll talk to you soon again.